The first story, after the direct report threat from President William Ruto, business tycoon Jaswant Rai has thrown in the towel in the battle for the control of the insolvent Mumia's sugar company. Rai and his West Kenya sugar company have now withdrawn four cases related to the running of the sugar factory in notices filed before the Court of Appeal and the High Court. In his application, the businessman and his company, West Kenya Sugar, say they have wholly discontinued and withdrawn their claim in the suits. Vatox Resources Company, another party in the case, was the first to withdraw from the case following the president's directive. Akuna Kesi to entertain Apo. Kesi Watoe. In what could be interpreted as a submission to President William Ruto's threat to parties involved in the tussle over the ownership and control of Mumia's sugar company, five cases filed challenging the running of the company by different parties have been withdrawn in quick succession. Rai Group Chairman Jaswant Rai, who was kidnapped last week in mysterious circumstances before being released two days later by his abductors, and the man who was alleged to be behind the sabotage of the revival of the once giant sugar farm has withdrawn four cases he had applied through his company West Kenya Sugar. Through three notices of withdrawal filed at the appellate court and one at the high court dated August 30th, the businessman says he has discontinued and withdrawn claims in the suits. In the first suit, an insolvency case filed by Kimeto and Associate Advocates in 2019 and where West Kenya Company and Jaswant Rai were named as interested parties and applicants, Rai has applied to discontinue and withdraw their claim in the suit. The second case is the one filed by the Kenya Commercial Bank and P.V. Rao, who was the Mumia Sugar Company receiver manager and administrator. In the case, KCB and P.V. Rao had challenged the court's decision to nullify, revoke and cancel the lease awarded to Sarai Group in December 2021 and also appointed a new administrator. West Kenya Sugar Company on their part were against the appeal filed by the two on the grounds that P.V. Rao awarded the lease to the lowest bidder. In the third case filed by Sarai Group, the company was seeking to overturn the decision by Justice Alfred Mabea, which cancelled their lease and ordered they vacate the premises. West Kenya Sugar, however, moved to the Court of Appeal and filed an appeal against the Ugandan best farm owned by Rai's brother, Sarjit Rai. The fourth case is a civil application case number E187 of 2023 filed by Sabjit Rai, Rakesh Kumar and Stephen Kihumba and where West Kenya has been named as a respondent. Rai, through his lawyer Martin Gitonga, has given the court notice to withdraw from the matter. Vatok Resources Limited, a company registered in Dubai with two foreign directors and associated with the billionaire businessman, was the first to withdraw the cases involving the running of the sugar company. Vatok's resources had challenged the lease awarded to Sarai Group to manage Mumia's sugar company. The company was also opposed to Sarai Group application to overturn the nullification of the lease and the removal of P.V. Rao as the administrator. A decision attributed to President Ruto's directive to the investors to withdraw the cases and leave the company, which the government is the biggest shareholder. The president has attributed the failure to revive the company to sugar cartels, whom he warned of deportation, jail term, and what he only termed as helping them to go to heaven, a statement LSK, human rights organization, and Azimio leaders said was a death threat. It is, however, not clear if the other parties in the matter will heed to the calls of the president or will stay put and allow the law to take its course.